that we're able to get through security on time. Um, I'm going to start the actual neural network talk in about 10 minutes. For right now, for the next 10 minutes, though, I'm going to do um, just like a little about me uh, kind of thing slash a mini talk. If that's is, it, how many people are against this? If there's strong nos, then I will then I will just go into the main talk and people will just be late. But if there is not strong nos, then I will just do this and stall for 10 minutes more or less. Is anyone strongly against it? It'll still be interesting, I promise. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background about me. So uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here at 9 a.m. on a Sunday after being in a conference all day yesterday and potentially a hackathon. Um, you're all winners. Um, so I'm Eric Schles. Um, I'm a hacker here in New York City. Um, and my main goal in life is to end slavery. Um, it's what I want to do. Uh, slavery is super bad. Uh, so usually I caution people that in this part of my talk that about what I'm about to tell you is super depressing, but there are things you can do about it. So um, slavery is really bad. It actually happens all over the world um, and right here in New York City. Uh, so to give you like a sense of how much it's happening around here in New York City, these are all people that are potentially slaves right now. Um, I scraped this from a sex trafficking website, so people buy and sell. Uh, other people on this, and then I turn it into lat long coordinates. <laughs> um, so as you can see, there's quite a few uh, of these little dots. About 20% of these are actually people that are slaves right now. Um, so uh, I did a whole bunch of other analysis, but basically the point is, um, uh, yeah, human trafficking is bad, and it happens everywhere, including New York City. Um, and uh, yeah, so. Um, I made it my life's mission basically to make it go away. Uh, it's what I do in my day job, more or less. Right now I'm working on a contract with some people um, in the space. And yeah, so uh, let me think what else I can say about that. If you're interested in getting involved though, you can build tools like this. There's lots of really great um, projects out there, like there's the Memex project, which is super cool. Um, highly recommend. There's actually a lot of really great uh, stuff in that project. Um, yeah, and also, shameless plug, if you want to, you can help me build my thing. Um, this is gonna be used on a relatively major case. I can't say where or what, but if you ask me for more details, I will tell you. Um, let's see, uh, you, uh, let's see, what else can I tell you about the project? Uh, I use a lot of machine learning techniques to do this, like image retrieval and image search, so like if you guys came to a lot of the talks yesterday on like document summarization, for instance, like that's where a lot of my work is. So if you're looking for a way to use like machine learning or Python for social justice, I would highly recommend talking to me because I can help you with that. I also have collaborated with like almost every federal agency, um, part of being uh, for the United States Digital Service, which is my day job, um, because we get to work with a lot of awesome people. Um, and so yeah, okay, so I've stalled for three minutes. <laughs> Who wants to see me go back to juggling? <laughs> Uh, okay, um, meow, okay.